Dianne Feinstein was an ally and a trailblazer for the LGBTQ plus movement, but her history with the community was more complicated than many people may have realized. Here's ABC 7 News reporter Suzanne Fong. All right, all right. It takes a small army of volunteers to replace a gigantic rainbow flag flying over the Castro district. Today, as we lower the flag in memoriam for Dianne Feinstein, we raise the rainbow flag as a beacon of hope for people everywhere. Senator Feinstein had become a huge champion of the LGBTQ rights. I think she'll always be known as somebody who brought the city together at a time right at the burgeoning of the modern LGBT movement when Harvey Milk was and Mayor Moscone were assassinated. Cleve Jones was there when Mayor Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk were assassinated. I go way back with uh, Senator Feinstein, back to the 70s. Jones explains the relationship Feinstein had with the LGBTQ community. She was very adept at sending signals to the community that she supported us, uh, acknowledged us, at a time when very few politicians did at all. But it would only go so far. She was willing to host and perform commitment ceremony, ceremonies for same-sex couples in her home, in her garden. But yeah, it was one of the very last uh, significant uh, Democratic Party leaders to really embrace full marriage equality. She was out there and, and fighting for our equal rights and social justice all the time. I know she did have a complicated history during the AIDS crisis. Senator Scott Weiner described the senator's efforts during the peak of the AIDS crisis in the 1980s. San Francisco, under Dianne Feinstein's leadership, literally created the model for how to fight HIV AIDS, a model that's been now replicated throughout the world. That included a controversial decision. Early to mid 1980s, I think there was there were a lot of debates about how to best uh, fight HIV, uh, and our Department of Public Health did decide to close the bath bathhouses. That was a terrible mistake. Diane Feinstein listened and, and and made that commitment, and many many lives were saved as a result. In San Francisco, Suzanne Fawn, ABC Seven News.